All right. Uh, let me start with the topic of the day. Today it is. Uh, today I'm going to talk about an important topic that is uh, relationship during COVID. We all know that COVID-19 has become a major issue in all of our lives, and it has become an impediment in many people's daily living and uh, it has also had a great impact on the relationships of the individuals at different levels i tell you how earlier i mean when the things were normal a lot of us were busy in our lives busy in our occupations and because of this one thing that was lacking in most of our relationship was the time that most of us didn't have time for each other most of us were struggling to give time for each other and that was one of the major complaints that everyone had that he or she is not giving time for us fair enough but now after covid crisis all of a sudden everything has come into a standstill now we all have time we were all running and all of a sudden we are forced to sit and that too without even having some time to slow down now this has become a major challenge for most of us because we really do not know how to spend time or how to utilize this time for ourselves and it has also caused a lot of problem in our relationships now uh, i can see a lot of husband and wives quarreling with each other with the uh, increased number of frequency i can see uh, there is a lot of uh, disturbances in the families not because it's not just because uh, there uh, the relationship was it it is not just because of the partners but also due to the circumstances but at the same time there is also an element of relationship aspects that are coming into the picture for example earlier uh, since we were struggling to get time so whenever we got time for each other or the partners got time for each other they used to spend it by going to malls going for a movie or going for a trip and so on but all of a sudden now we have time but we do not know or we are not supposed to go out we have to spend this time inside the house and we do not know how to do about it so this has become a major challenge for many and especially those uh, who are young and uh, aspirational and so on now one of the major questions that i would like to answer is how to support your partner now supporting your partner is not just one way it is mutual i have a, a formula of relationship that is t u f f t tough it stands for trust understanding freedom friendship and time trust is one of the major pillars of relationship without that any relationship will not survive understanding is the second pillar i will uh, go to other aspects like uh, freedom friendship at a later point of time but the third for fifth pillar of relationship is time and when i'm talking about these pillars especially during covid time what we are having is trust there is no problem of trust most of the times we are all within our houses we don't have to uh, deal with trust issues mostly but and also we have time for each other but we are lacking with understanding freedom and friendship now what is this understanding all about since a lot of people have got into a relationship even then they have not spent time with each other to understand each other's uh, likes understand each other's dislikes understand 
each other's inhibitions understand each other's passions and so on so we have been running in the race and we have not given time for each other to understand and that is one of the major problems why we do not know how to spend time with each other the second aspect that is freedom now when we talk in the, the, the normal conditions freedom is all about allowing an individual to uh, decide their, their uh, take decisions on their own or allow your partner to go away with their friends for a party or for a dinner or for an outing and so on or it can be also not being too possessive of your partner and so on but in this circumstances the especially in the covid time the freedom the the meaning of freedom changes here when two people are sitting in the same space how to give the personal space or how to give personal space for each other how to appreciate individuals independence how to appreciate individuals individual differences so these are all the questions that come up in a relationship and friendship is something that is again another lacuna in many people's relationship that is we do not know how to share our feelings we do not know how to share our vulnerabilities we do not know how to share negative feedback to our partner even when we do not have any fear of not losing the relationship or not straining the relationship that is why many a times even when the the husband and wife are together they are not friends they do not have a friendly relationship with each other and because of that now when both of them are put together they do not know how to spend the time together so this is these are the major hurdles that are seen in the relationships we can see increased domestic violence also in few of the cases because of which sorry there was some uh, network issue i suppose uh, because of which uh, the uh, uh, domestic violence have also increased because of which uh, this relationship have got into a bad shape now another aspect that we need to understand is how to make your bond stronger say we you are already you may already be in a uh, relationship you may already be in uh, married couples but how to make your bond stronger and that too many times you are also continuing to work from home so how do you do this of course when compared to the previous time that is before covid the routine was different and now the routine is different the earlier life had its own problems like getting up early you have to leave for your job uh, take a vehicle uh, reach your office all these things used to be there but now all of a sudden these things have got cut and we are mostly staying at home or almost staying at home except when we have to go for groceries or vegetables now how do we strategize or how do we uh, set our routines is a big question earlier the uh, we used to come late in the evening and uh, after finishing our work and then we had very less time to spend with each other i tell you one story that uh, i came across from a friend of mine she is married for uh, last 8 9 months so uh, one day i had called her to ask what how is life how is how are things going on and she said uh, life has become extremely boring especially the married life is extremely boring because we you, you have to see the same person every day you don't have other option and it is pretty difficult to deal with this now what do you, what you can infer out of this that is mainly there is a lacuna of understanding freedom and friendship among the partners and they do not know how to spend time with each other and 
when they are put into covid kind of covid uh, quarantine kind of situation they do not absolutely they are in crisis and they do not know how to deal with it now few suggestions that i would like to give are one is sharing of works what are sharing of works of course many of us know that we have to share our works but how is um, maybe working together maybe you can prepare food together maybe you can um, uh, engage in cleaning the uh, house or doing the household things together that is one and also engage yourself in indoor games maybe you can play chess you can play uh, cards or you can play any other indoor games of your choice and maybe if you are interested in cooking you can try new dishes you can exercise together you may practice yoga you can practice meditation you can practice pranayama all this can be done together and also you can develop certain hobbies now maybe these are all generic this all may appear generic but let me explain how these are actually playing a role in building the bonds of each other you might have uh, seen that there are different types of bondage between people but especially when it comes to the partners life partners the bondage has to be very strong now when you share the works when you play with each other when you play indoor games when you try uh, doing exercise together basically you will be able to understand each other basically you will be able to give time for each other and it will be a quality time and hobbies will make the life interesting otherwise we are all bored with the routine things and especially since we have got more time to spend we do not know how to spend so develop some hobbies like you can start uh, music you can there are several apps that also support you in doing this you can uh, start uh, dancing or you can start doing some uh, zumba exercise kind of things or you can write start writing poems stories articles and so on so always start developing some hobby so that you will get some positive energy you will your creative energy will flow in and that will make you uh, more interesting uh Okay, I have a question. I was about to go for IVF treatment to conceive, but it was stopped due to coronavirus. I feel stressed. What I can do? Yes, I'm coming to uh, this aspect in the, in the later uh, part of the talk. Now, all these things are fine. These are all applicable to anybody or any uh, any couple. But when it comes to fertility treatment. or uh, people who are undergoing for uh, let me categorize the three types of people one is those who are undergoing fertility treatment but in the initial stage the second one are the ones who have got uh, ivf treatment done successfully and are pregnant and are expecting a birth of the baby in a few months and the third category is those the like the one we have got the question those who are waiting to go for or who are planning to go for a fertility treatment now all this category uh, i mean all the people of this category these three categories have to be very very careful one thing is the more you are uh, peaceful in your mind the better will be the result this is always true in uh, fertility treatment so when you have uh, got a plan to go for a treatment it is natural that suddenly there has a big break that has come in on your way but you can always go further and uh, have the treatment once the things are normalized i understand that uh, because you had set a timeline that by then by this time i will go for a treatment i will by then i will can't see when all those things are always there but if you are uh, because of the situations and we have to accept the realities we have to accept the situation and we will have to acknowledge it and uh, what can i do during this time now i uh, in order to 
contain the stress try to look at where are the stresses coming from in the sense is it coming from within is it coming from the partner or is it coming from the in-laws or is it coming from the parents or is it coming from the neighbors where is it coming from this is one of the primary aspects that we need to look at when we are stressed especially in term, in case of uh, people who are going for fertility treatment many times it comes from within that you had your own plans and the plans have got uh, postponed uh, that to, without having a proper timeline what you can actually do is make yourself more healthy eat healthy and stay healthy so that you will be better uh, ready both physically and mentally for the fertility treatment as and when the time is ready for you to undergo a treatment so be aware that if you are just planning for a treatment there is always a possibility to get in to the treatment soon after the times or the things get normalized but if you have already started a treatment and then you are stuck even then be positive things are going to be normal very soon health facilities will be provided on a priority basis and all the doctors are careful and uh, caring for you so be positive that nothing is nothing wrong is going to happen it's all going to be fine the moment you start getting stressed the moment you getting start start getting anxious the moment you start getting restless your body also responds in the similar way there will be hormonal imbalance the moment your mind starts negative thoughts so always stay calm and help each other especially the partners by giving positive the you know, vibes and uh, there is also a possibility that uh, uh, the the common feelings that we can see during this time are anxiety one thing sadness because as i said plans may get postponed because of that sadness may also come in worry that is again because of the crisis uncertainty in the crisis and negative thoughts what if it doesn't happen or what if the time doesn't come uh, as and uh, as we have planned so there will be lot of negative thoughts so we have to be very very careful that we do not get into this negative zone and either of the partners have to help each other so we should ensure that our negative emotions our anxiety our sadness our worries do not get transferred to the other rather we get solace from the other by helping ourselves and very interestingly it is it's a very commonly known uh, proverb uh, that this time will also pass this is a very very interesting statement that this time will also pass even a covid crisis will also pass so you don't have to worry too much you just have to wait and be patient uh there is another interesting question how to control anxiety and panic vibes yes <coughs> uh now controlling anxiety has multiple aspects because a- an anxiety or panic attack will include both bodily changes and mental changes now you have to observe what are the bodily changes that you are observing are you uh, do you have uh, shivering do you have profuse sweating do you have a, a kind of dizziness or do you do you feel a sudden darkening of your eyes or all these are the symptoms which show that you have anxiety now breathing exercise is one that is very very helpful in controlling anxiety second thing is uh gratitude exercise is another thing that also helps anxiety and thirdly physical exercise and nutritional care that also helps in treating anxiety and panic uh, issues now how do you do it is another question probably uh, a live session like this may not be the right place to uh, uh give individualistic 
uh, ideas so maybe we will have to uh, deal with it uh, individually maybe you can uh, get a counseling session uh, through fertility to those platform so that the specific anxiety and panic issues may be addressed more thoroughly and uh, yes generally one says meditation helps controlling anxiety but it's just for some time obviously after some time following the normal routine anxiety comes back how to deal with it i agree with you completely priyanka that uh, meditation is not a cure for anxiety especially when somebody is in anxiety more if somebody if we, if we suggest them to meditate it doesn't work because meditation needs a different kind of practice it is true that those who have been practicing meditation for quite long time quite or maybe couple of months they will have a better ability to overcome anxiety or they may have less frequency of anxiety or panic attacks but it is not advisable for anybody to sit in and uh do meditation when somebody is feeling anxious i tell you few things one is uh, that is what gratitude exercise is interesting and if you really want to practice pranayam one of the pranayams that is bastrika is very good in removing anxious thoughts so bastrika is a forceful exhale of uh, air which is very in, uh, useful technique to reduce your anxiety because it makes your mind blank the moment your mind is blank the negative thoughts will come down the anxious thoughts will come down and slowly you will be able to deal with it but if you have a lot of physical symptoms like uh, uh, shivering or sweating and so on first thing that you need to do is sit in a comfortable position and start deep breathing with uh, after taking sufficient water but make sure that you are not taking water when you are having short breaths because there is a possibility of getting a water into the lungs so be careful while taking the water but make sure that you intake sufficient water sit quietly and practice deep breathing after that there are techniques that we can discuss at a later point of time uh but we will have to look at what is this anxiety all about or where is it coming from because whether it is a generalized anxiety or whether it, whether it is a specific anxiety we will have to look at it then only we will be able to address it more specifically but these are the things that we can generally use for any anxiety or panic attack but meditation in my personal opinion i do not know about others but in my personal opinion meditation doesn't really help in addressing anxiety it may give a support structure in a long run yeah the next question is i am having mood swings these days how to deal with that uh dealing with mood swings uh, especially i i think the question is from a lady here i want to emphasize one more aspect i have been uh, whenever i talk about fertility treatment and related mental health aspects i always stress upon the role of the men in the family the husband has a greater role in the fertility treatment many times what what men think is okay the treatment is happening with the wife she will be injected with the medication all the treatment goes physical treatment goes to her but at the same time men have a larger role to play both morally and with regard to mental health and also in sharing other works for example in the present time uh, most of the middle class families will be having both husband and wife working and because of shutdown both of you may be working from home but many times what happens is men do not take the responsibility of the household chores it it is true not just during work from home but also during work from office that many times we do men do not worry about the household chores and we think that women are the ones who have to take care about it this is not true and especially if you are going through a fertility treatment you will have to take certain responsibilities more than your wife and uh, maybe i i think uh, many of you might have watched uh, the movie good news you might get very good uh, inputs how men have to 
take responsibility of the household chores how they have to take care of their wives though it is a comedy movie it actually talks or it actually reflects a lot of uh, uh, inputs on the role of men into the uh, in, in the process of fertility treatment uh, so when it comes to the mood swings men have a better role to play and if your wife is, is uh, having mood swings please be patient and listen to them and empathize them and the on the other side let me talk about mood swings of i mean how to deal or how to cope with the mood swings for women so if you are one of those who are going through mood swings try to look at the pattern of your mood swings is it happening at certain time or is it happening at certain situations or is it randomly happening this is one look at the patterns of your mood swings and do you see or also look at if there is any triggering point that uh, is that is responsible for your mood swing that is second so one is pattern second is triggering point and thirdly whenever you are uh, facing mood swings if you are in a bad mood if you are getting negative thoughts or if you are getting extremely angry about things try to stay away from others or try to um, express your anger being alone but thinking that the other person about whom you are getting angry is there in front of you i tell you this uh, the, how this uh, activity really works uh, consider you are in an angry mood and you express your anger with the person uh, maybe generally it is your partner because if you are uh, only two of you are staying together and uh, the partner may not be having any clue why you are angry and sometimes the triggering factor may be something else but your partner may be a, a, a scapegoat hence what you can actually do is if you are getting angry or if you are getting frustrated or if you are having certain irritations try to put it out don't keep it inside because uh, keeping inside is more harmful to you and it will come out in another form at a later stage which is much more harmful to the uh, to you as well as to the other person who is becoming the victim there so try to express your emotions or try to express your anger frustration irritation or any kind of mood swings to the person even in the absence of him or her i'm telling uh, i'm talking about mood swings both for male and female because i have seen mood swings even in men it is also true that men also have mood swings so if if you are having mood swings please express or put your uh, frustration or put catharsis Uh, practice catharsis in the absence of the person so that you are free of the burden of the frustration but at the same time the other person is not the victim of all your negative energies but at the same time make sure if there is any specific triggering point that keeps coming from the partner or any of the family members make sure that you convey to them that look this actually creates a problem to me can you please avoid doing this or can we do this in some other way i think uh, that will be very helpful for you to deal with the mood swings now i would like to know if it is normal to feel anxious during pregnancy covid is of course an excuse perhaps but otherwise too yes uh, during pregnancy you will have your bodily changes hormonal changes and there will be changes in the mental health as well anxiety to certain extent will certainly come so that is why we say uh, that uh, uh, during pregnancy you have to follow a very healthy lifestyle keep practicing yoga pranayama or other normal breathing exercise relaxation exercises and uh, watch good things positive things all these things because basically there are a lot of changes that are happening into you, inside your body or inside you considering body and mind are uh, interconnected and they are Uh, a part of uh, one uh, entity so it is e- e- even in the absence of covid it is very normal to feel anxious but it is at the same time it is also important for you to deal with anxiety and uh, stay calm so that things will be better and you will be able to 
uh, have a healthy life which because whenever you are anxious or you have negative thoughts it will also have an impact on the baby uh, there are certain evidences where if the mother is not in a good mood or if the mother is having certain mental issues during pregnancy then it may get transferred to the baby as well so be careful that or make sure that you are in a good mood so that uh, you will be able to deal with the um, things in a better way yeah so do we have uh, any further questions certainly you can uh, and in case if you are not able to deal with any of the mental upsets like uh, whether it is uh, anxiety whether it is panic attack or whether it is some kind of sadness may not be clinical depression per se but any kind of sadness or too many negative thoughts please uh, try to contact uh, fertility those for that matter so that they can connect to the right therapists uh, who can facilitate you to deal with the mental issues and stay healthy and uh, happy do we have uh, any other questions yeah i think uh, these are the major things that we need to uh, take care of and we have to be very careful and uh, covid is, uh, and one more thing is be very careful about uh, covid virus uh, it is uh, uh, it is very very essential for all of us to stay home don't do not when, uh, do any adventure by going out uh, meeting people or uh, any other public places be very careful because your health is our uh, the utmost important thing for all of us not just for you alone but it is important for us all of us as a society so please stay away from uh, groups of people so that you stay healthy uh, any other questions all right then uh, i would suggest uh, uh, all of you uh, very healthy uh, living happy quarantine in fact uh, during quarantine time you can explore yourself your inner conflicts in your emotions your behaviors it's a very good time for introspection so please start doing all these things maybe uh you can refer to self help guides so that you can try to understand what are the things that you can actually do during uh, covid 19 quarantine period you can uh, uh be a better person you can learn some new skills and other things you can read new books and uh, actually you can grow internally uh, during this time it's a very good time for all of us for ourselves and uh, i'm sure all of us will be utilizing it in the best way uh, and uh, with this note i would like to thank fertility dose for organizing this live session